spoiler warning. Beware of spoilers. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Star vs. the Forces of Evil Ideas. And today, I'm going to be talking about how Tom will react when he finds out that Marco likes Star. And I swear, the names get longer each time, or each video. We, I do that, like, I do. Because, I mean, like, they get longer. Anyway... But before we get started, I just want to say that we're almost at 400 subscribers. Thanks guys so much. Thanks for the awesome support. There are so many comments. I can't stress this enough. There are so many comments on each video that are like, Oh my gosh, you're doing so great. And it's just like, you're giving me awesome support. It's like, you guys are amazing. And I have like, like a lot of comments that are like, First, second, oh my gosh, I'm first. And I was like, I was like, wow. We're this popular to where we have people racing to be first? That's that's amazing. Notification squad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, this comment is actually suggested by Loki Limacha. I, I probably said your name wrong. I'm sorry. But they're like, hey, wave emoji. Can you do a theory if Marco and Star ever be a thing? Or a theory about Tom's reaction when he finds out that Marco likes Star or loves Star. Star emoji and heart emoji. And I responded with, I think we could make that happen or something like that. Now, that's what we're doing today. So you're welcome, Loki, Lima. This just proves that I, uh, I read you guys' comments, alright? There's no doubt about it now. So, after I got this comment, I, I set up like an announcement for our Discord chat which you guys could go join, by the way. So I asked the Discord to come up with some ideas on how Tom would react to Marco liking Star. And so I got a couple people giving their suggestions. So let's start off with Hoshi. You guys all know Hoshi, right? He's like, he, he, uh, he, he knows, he, he's been with the channel for, well, I guess it's not been very long because the channel is like less than a week old, but he's been here for a little while. He said, my theory about Tom's reaction about the feelings of Marco depends on if Star knows if she knows that Marco likes Star or not, or if Marco likes her or not. <laughs> so, first one. I think primarily he'll be scared if Star finds out and maybe tries to make them spend less time together or being with them when they're alone. And this is not gonna work. So like, if Marco and Star are alone, then Tom will try to join in the party, I guess. <laughs> Another possibility is even when Tom is angry and scared, he'll think of Marco like a friend, so he'll try to be direct with him and talk about, to him about it. Now on how Marco responds could make Tom angry, and I don't see a fight between Tom and Marco, but I see Tom being a little bit aggressive because he feels betrayed for Marco and ending their friendship, and Marco leaving without saying what happened to Star. But if Tom reacts calmer, Marco could promise Tom to forget about Star and never to tell or leave. Or, Tom could give space to Star because she gets too altered after learning that. To be honest, I don't think that there will be much screen time of Tom learning about Marco's feelings unless Tom learns about, out about it before Star. For, like, an example scenario, when Tad sees Kelly and Marco spending more time together, Tad comes to Tom and says how Marco likes Star because Tad gets angry. Because... Ted and Kelly broke up. But honestly, Ted's a pretty chill guy. I don't see that happening. Maybe, but I don't know. But anyway, another one from Hoshi. The monster arm appears and attacks Tom when they're alone. Hmm. If Marco actually steals Star from Tom, I don't think we'll see Tom in a long time because of his friendship with Marco will be broken. And it will be too sad for Tom to be with Star. But again, even if he gets mad, I don't see there being a fight. At least on the sense of Marco fighting back. Tom may be being a little bit aggressive physically and feeling betrayed and leaving and not coming back for the series a while. That's it for Hoshi. Awesome ideas, Hoshi. I, I love the way that you think and I love all your theories. I love reading your Discord stuff. That, that's one of the reasons why I created the Discord, so I could hear from you guys. Join it. I've plugged my Discord so much, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. On to the next one. This theory is from Retrofusion. 
Now, Retrofusion, I know. He, he was in, like, two videos ago. Because I, I put him in there. Because so, he, he was like, I think you should script your videos. I put him in there, and he was like, I can't just not join the Discord now. He was like, I'm joining the Discord. I was like, yes! So he, he's contributing now, so yay. So Retro says, Okay, so my theory on how Tom will react to how Tom Star ends... And before I continue, this is assuming that Star, Star is leaving Tom like they're breaking up. Okay, so back to the theory. Is once Star tries to tell him that this isn't working out, whether it be Marco or Tom's fault, he will automatically assume it's Marco's fault, because let's be honest, it's it's Tom. That, that was my part, not his. Anyway, <laughs> Marco's fault, and try to hunt him down. Star tries to tell him that it's not Marco. Oh my gosh, this is going in aggressive. Man hunting now. <laughs> anyway, Star tries to tell him that it's not Marco. Either she's in denial, or it is Tom's fault. But she'll get thrown away slash back from Tom, and will pursue, and Tom will pursue Marco wherever that he may be. Marco is at his room, maybe eating nachos or something, and hears some sound coming from the window, and Tom bursts through the wall right beside the window. For comedic effect, right? Because every, every cartoon does that. Anyway, and begins trying to hurt him with whatever is in the room and with his demonic powers, and manages to hold him down. He ends up burning Marco extremely badly while Star tries to find both of them. Marco manages to get out of Tom's grip and traps him in some kind of blanket, and he tries to call Star to let them know where he is. And then Tom breaks out, and Star begins rushing towards the castle to save Marco, while Tom breaks out of the blanket and continuously lays into him, taunting him with, Admit it, you love Star, or something along the lines of that. Marco keeps denying it, de denying this, and as Star rushes up the stairs, eventually Tom tries to burn Marco's cape as blackmail. And as soon as Star opens the door, Marco screams out his true feelings. And Star gets super confused and runs out crying. To which Marco stops fighting to run after her. They find her at the waterfall area with that monster dam episode where they were like his saving the monster village area for, from the, the water. Where she's curled up crying. Marco and Tom try to comfort her and Tom realizes that Marco is comforting her better with her problems. Tom realizes Marco is the better man for Star, and they both mutually break up. Tom then leaves, and then the episode closes on Marco and Star sitting on the waterfall, blushing, to which Star then hugs Marco. Now, I just must say, I love this theory, guys. This is one of the ways I'd love to see it play out. So, yes, Fusion, thank you. Thanks. I love you guys, guys. <laughs> anyway, on to the next theory from Star vs. the Forces of Evil Lover. Or Cypher, like Bonabelle, Butterfly, Cypher. Which, they, they gave me the the theory for the, the Evil Marco theory. You guys should go watch it. That was, that was a good video, I think. Just got over like a hundred, or thousand, or no. Thousand views, alright. Okay, anyway. Cypher says... I think Tom will realize that Star puts more effort on other things rather than their relationship. He tries to break up with her, but is unable to because of his own feelings towards her. So then we get a lot of comedic moments of him trying to break up with her and just being confused and eventually gets tired before another try and encounters Eclipsa. Eclipsa then gives him the perfect advice like Richard suggested. Now, just like just some backstory Richard's also in the discord so just, just like they, they, they put a theory now Richard said that if Starco is to happen when Eclipsa is going then Eclipsa is going to be the person who really pushes Star into it we saw in Lintcatcher that Eclipsa basically made Star make Marco her squire in all all in all Eclipsa will make Starco happen a backstory just so that you know what Cypher's talking about. Anyway, back to Cypher. And so now he goes to Star, and Star acts completely obnoxious about it, and makes it even harder for Tom. But he just says it, 
and then the episode ends with both of them being depressed over it. That now that that's the end of ciphers. But anyway, awesome ideas, guys. Thank you guys so much for helping out for the video. It would be much harder for me to make videos every day if it wasn't for you guys. You guys are lifesavers, as um, as Fusion said. Got gotta save me from the, for the everyday thing. Anyway, and thanks again for the 400 almost subscribers, it might even be there now, I, I don't even know, but if you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like if you want to, I don't, I don't really care, you can do whatever you want, but leave a like, but one thing that you have to do is you have to join the Discord, because, well, you, you don't have to, I guess, but th that would just be cool, because I love talking with you guys, Share your ideas in the comments, because I do love to talk to you guys and hear your ideas. Or you could join the Discord and tell me there. So, yeah, you guys get to talk to me personally. So, yeah, you guys excited. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of fun there. And just, we share our theories, and we have art channel, and you can share your art or whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Ugh, loud.